Hey everybody, welcome back to the Fish Dimension. So before this video starts, I just want to explain one quick thing that uh, happens in it. And uh, it is near the end, at the very point where I catch my personal best crappie, uh, which measured in at 14.5 uh, inches and I think like 1.83 pounds or something like that. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, the beard is back. Uh, got a new job and was able to grow it back, so uh, happy about that. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, when I'm, uh, when my wife and I are kind of handling the crappy, she's got, uh, my phone tucked away in her arm, still recording, and it catches this moment where a bunch of dumb kids or something drive across the bridge across the water from us, and they just start popping off, uh, their handgun while they're, while they're driving across. And, uh, you know, it's kind of funny now, and it's it's almost funny when you watch it in the video, but, you know, at the time, uh, you know, it sounded so close, and, you know, you really just have no idea if you're, you know, if someone's just shooting into the air or they're shooting at you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my wife reacts uh, somewhat negatively to it. There's, there's a lot of words bleeped out in that part. Uh, so yeah, so just wanted to come on and explain that really quick. That's why there's shots fired in the title and everything. And, uh, enjoy the rest of the video. First cast. <laughs> hey buddy, come on up here. Is that a channel cat? I think so, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, looks like a channel cat to me. Yep. Would you say about two and a half pounds? Thereabouts, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, about two and a half pounds. All right, well, you just got us the curse of the first cast, so. So we're not going to catch any more fish. Probably not. This is probably all that's here, catfish. <laughs> all right, very good. All right. I'll put this feather back. <laughs> yep. Got yeah. another one, huh? Yep. Is it a crappie or is it a white bass? I it's can't tell. It's a crappie. Tell. Awesome. Yeah, they're coming in fully. They're doing their thing. You All right. it in good. Good looking fish. Nice crappie. My <laughs> favorite fish of all. Mm -hmm. I love these little fish. They nice. are so much fun to catch. Nice to see them back. Yeah. All right. Now, can you stop catching fish for five seconds so I can <laughs> get up there myself? All right. Get over here and get out there. Get all a fish. Right. <laughs> My first fish of the night. Uh, this time I was actually using the, the dragging method. There we go. Oh, he's heavy. Nice. Put up a good little fight. Okay. All right. So, first crappie of the night for me. Nice little black guy there. And you can see what I'm using. Still, uh, still using those Trolley Custom Magic jigs there. Yep. I forget what that color is called, but it's uh, blue and chartreuse. It's a good one. Yep. Yep. There we go. All right, let's stick him back in with his friends. And uh, they're not exactly uh, easy to catch tonight, but they are actively feeding near the surface. And he's uh, just sitting there. That's what the other one did too. Yeah. He just sat there. They always, uh, you put them back in the water, they go for the nearest structure they see. All right, come on, buddy. You gotta do better than that. <laughs> there he goes. All right, there we go. Getting back out there. Yeah, they're still very cold. <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, it's definitely still winter conditions, but they are filing back into our our usual spot here. They're uh, they're coming back in. They're feeding. We're we're thinking that uh, some kind of you know pre-spawn behavior might might start soon at the very least they're 
on the move coming back. Um, yeah, it's uh, you gotta you gotta come out and see what's going on every so often. <laughs> so uh, I got my my baby working my iPhone camera here. It does better in low light. All right, not as charged as I would have liked, but I brought the GoPro back out. Uh, I brought it out here not realizing I hadn't charged it after last time. So, uh, it turned out to be a rather bitey night here. Uh, we're dragging and we're catching fish and I do believe we're going to try to catch about uh, six of them to make some dinner tomorrow night perhaps. But they're liking it slowly dragged about two feet down. Yeah, we've actually had a multi-species night already. We caught the catfish in the beginning, as you saw, and uh, black crappie, and I caught a white bass just a moment ago, but I didn't have anything to film it with. I'm still waiting for the camera to finish charging. And came out here and didn't realize that none of my equipment was ready at all. Everything was low on charge. Fish. Close in over the, the boat ramp. All right, there he is, trying to get away. That's another, uh, yep, another white bass. Well, that's not a bad thing. We get something a little, little different in the video. A little variety for us. Come here. Yeah, the white bass are close in and the crappie are far out. There you go. That's a, definitely a little white bass there. At least I think it is. I think I, yeah, I see the stripes. All right, well. Not a crappy. Hopefully you'll get to see me catch a crappy in the video. I don't know because I don't know if it's saved on my phone because the phone died in the middle of taking the video. But uh, yeah, at least we're catching fish. All right, get back in there. White bass we're not eating. They, uh, they feel really good when you're fighting them, but then you bring them out and they're usually pretty small. But show us what you pulled out there, babe. Just caught me a nice fish. Yeah. All right. Nice, nice crappy. That is a very nice crappy. <laughs> he fought really hard. Fought like a bass. He's still really cold though. Yeah, getting him was hard fought, wasn't it? Yeah, it took a long time. It took probably 45 minutes of trying different colors, different depths, different locations. But you still caught him on a on a clear colored uh, trolley jig. Didn't That's you? right. The, he sent us uh, some jigs uh, extra for free. And that's what I caught him on. <laughs> the the they're uh, like a clear white, opaque color with a little bit of rainbow colored fleck in them. And that's what he hit it hard. <laughs> so yeah, this was a great fish. All thank right. you, Charlie, for the great fish. Yeah, thank you, buddy. <laughs> All right. It's a great fish. All right. Good job. Thank you. Dinner. Dinner. Rolling. All right. So I took the bobber off, and this is the result. Still using the, the chaw lee. Wow. That's a good God, fish. he is heavy. That might be my PB. Look at this fish. Holy moly. Holy, holy moly. He choked it down. That, I believe, is the biggest crappie I've ever caught. <laughs> That's a big crappie. That has got to be. That's a 15-inch crappie. We need to find a pair that doesn't lock like that. It's annoying. Well, they they lock to uh, supposedly to help you get the jig out better. Yeah, that is not true at all. <laughs> Significantly worse. Oh, he caught himself right in the soft pillow. Shit!
surrounded by idiots. All right, well, that was uh, a harrowing moment. We'll go into detail about that later because I'm sure I got that on film. Yeah, you can hear me but out. There's my uh, my PB uh, in there. It, uh, it was not my PB for, it, it matched my PB for length. It was 14 and a half inches, but it beat my, oh, he's still alive. Uh, it beat my PB for, uh, for, for heft. Uh, it was actually uh, 1.87, whereas my old PB was like 138. So my new PB crappy right there. And uh, we, I got them a little good. And the, normally I let my PBs go, but I got them a little too good for uh, with the hook there. So he's uh, he's going to be dinner. But uh, there are bigger fish out there, and one of these days I'm going to catch my two pounder. Yeah. So in any case, uh, in any case, more than more on the uh, experience that we just had in a moment. It was uh, one we had to call the cops for actually. Uh, this place. You, you come here, you know, to these uh, places at night, like out in the country, and over here on the highway, people will just start randomly shooting. Yeah. We just had somebody start shooting. Stop. They were in a car on the highway, and here he is pulling in his, his PB crappy, and they start shooting. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. Right. Yeah, right across that that those lights over there that's basically a you know kind of like a little bridge that goes over the water right there and stuff and uh you know somebody does that from a car like i'm sure it's all you know fun and games with you fucking rednecks uh when you're when you're shooting off your firearms and stuff but the thing is is i have no way of knowing if you're shooting in the air or if you're shooting at me yes so in that moment i'm afraid for my life there is a time and a place to shoot a gun it is at a target range i mean you know you're standing here having a great time trying to enjoy a beautiful waterfront scenery you're fishing you're having a good time and then so your life is threatened all of a sudden yep. out of the blue i mean who does that and this is the second time this has happened oh yeah 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 we've had this happen before they were off in this dark area on the other side of the uh the lake here and uh, they just started firing a gun off uh, in the woods over there, you know, probably not even paying much attention to the direction in which they're shooting it. Mm -hmm. You're an asshole. <laughs> Stop like, it. I know, I know, you know, down here in the south, everyone's proud of being, you know, fucking redneck and everything. But, but uh, yeah, let's let's leave the firearms where they belong. Right. Please. I mean, look, I love shooting guns. It's fun. It's really fun. But this is not the time and the place. All right, end rant, end video, yeah. end video end too. <laughs> okay. I to well, I guess I'm gonna check the footage and see what we got of that on there. <laughs>